Bank in a rural Alberta is caved in tonight after thieves crashed into the storefront. Dave Mitchell has that story. Life usually moves pretty slow in Warburg, about 100 kilometers southwest of Edmonton. Oh, the bank. But 3 a.m. Sunday morning, all that changed when the local ATB branch was almost demolished. Gord Enders has owned this business for over a decade. And my first thought was, oh, a tornado had run, had come through Warburg. In fact, it was four suspects, RCMP releasing images of three today. They say the thieves first stole a large pickup truck and then a front-end loader from the Warburg Village Yard. They then set their sights on the bank, ramming the side of the building and getting away with a small amount of cash. Basically, just pushed in the front of the building. They took a couple of, couple of shots at it. Police happened to be uh, close in the area, which was fortunate, so they were here within, within a couple of minutes of it happening. Jeanette Berger works right across the street. Just devastated to, to see that. Like, how many times do we have to go through this? She knows of too many rural businesses who've been the victims of robbery. Very worried because the economy is really bad right now. And this is not only going to be bad for my store, but it'll be bad for the whole community of Warburg. By Monday afternoon, engineers were on site inspecting the ceiling and walls to find out the extent of the damage. We're committed to, to Warburg and to, the, to our staff that are here and to the residents and our customers. So we'll be, uh, we'll be getting back open as soon as possible. For now, his five employees have been relocated to the Calmar branch. A new building could take many months to be up and running. We all look out for each other here. And yeah. Time and time again, we're faced with this. In Warburg, Dave Mitchell, CTV News.